Hello, my favorite people. This is Amber Fowler, your Independent Sensi Consultant. I sincerely hope that you are having a great day, but if you're not, then I sincerely hope this video helps to lift your spirits. All right, so today I am going to share with you some of the things that I've been warming so far in January. So this will be like a January part one of what I've been using, what I've been warming, and I've got some other things here too. So this isn't just going to be all about Scentsy today because I use a whole bunch of different fragrances from different places and I want to highlight those too because I am a huge fragrance fan and I'm not, I do love Scentsy, don't get me wrong, and I'm a consultant for a reason, but I don't only use Scentsy. And I fully support everything that Scentsy puts out. In fact, I've just bought a whole bunch of stuff from Scentsy to try out for my own for the first time. For example, I am currently using some of the vanilla mint dish soap and man, I wish that the bottles were bigger because I love it. It is great. Uh, but anyway, I will get to... <laughs> I will get to that whenever I'm done using that soap. So that's what I've got for us today. I've got what I'm using. I've got some empty containers of some of the things that I've used and you're gonna hear some of my thoughts and, and opinions on those. And yeah, so let's, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off today with some of the wall plug-in fragrances that I have used so far in January. The first one I've got for us today is a wallflower from Bath and Body Works. So I must have thrown away the tag at the time I didn't realize I would be making these videos, but here we are. <laughs> but I do remember this scent is Vanilla Bean Noel. And, oh wow, this is actually so strong with it. But as you can see, the oil was starting to dry up in the bottom, so I wanted to just be cautious about that and mindful because when the oil's all dried up and it's plugged in, I, I don't know what happens. Rather be safe than sorry. So I pulled it off. This does still smell like it at the top here, and it still smells really good. So this started off really strong, almost too strong the first two days that I used it. But then it mellowed out, and the, where I've placed this is in my bedroom, and it's, the wall is right in front of before you walk into the master bathroom. So every time you're walking in or out of the bathroom, you just catch this beautiful vanilla scent. And yeah, it was it was great. I do actually have another one of these. So I'm excited that I, I have more because I really enjoyed this. But like I said, those first two days, it was a bit, it was a bit too much. Now there is more than just vanilla in this. It's not a sweet I mean, it mellowed out to a sweet scent, but initially it had a punch to it. Maybe it's some sort of spice. I don't know. If you know, go ahead and, and say so in the comments because you can really help me out here. <laughs> but yeah, so that is Bean Noel Wallflower from Bath & Body Works. The last plugin that I used is actually a Glade plugin. This I just probably got from Walmart or something. And it's actually the old plugin because I think they've since updated the design. I don't know if that's better technology or if it's to help boost sales. <laughs> I like the dual sense here because the theory is that it alternates between the two and it definitely does so that you don't get nose blind to any one particular scent. Like I said, this one kind of mellowed out, although I, I still smelled it. So I didn't really get nose blind to this, but I don't know. I just personally, I like the concept of, of the two alternating because it, it always gives you that burst of something fresh and something new. So this one in particular is a mix of this is their fresh scent, which I'm not too into. I, I don't really like fresh scents. This one doesn't bother me though, but it was paired with pumpkin. Yep. It just smells like pumpkin and caramel maybe. So it's like a sweeter pumpkin scent. It was running out of the pumpkin side before it ran out. You can see there's still some oil on the fresh side, but again, I just wanted to be safe than sorry. I didn't want to have it plugged in and it's trying to use on this side when there's nothing left up. But I did leave this in the plug-in for quite some time with it having just that little bit of oil in there and it never really seemed to use it up. But 
We got a new one in there. I'll uh, share that with you in a new video. The next thing I am gonna share with you is a skincare product actually. So I opened up a brand new one this past week and I figured I'd just share this with you too because it's something that I really like and it's something that is helpful for me. I get the little bumps on my arms. You can't see because I'm wearing sleeves right now, but uh, I get these little bumps on my arms. So this is an Arbonne product. If you don't know what Arbonne is, it is a vegan, gluten-free, and all-natural brand, which is really great. And what really turned me on to, to Arbonne was, was that. This is their Arbonne Intelligence Genius Nightly Resurfacing Solution. So that's a mouthful, but I'll just kind of hold this up here. So you can see this is a liquid. Now you don't actually use the liquid straight out of the canister like this. It comes with a set of pads and a little container. It doesn't look like this. It's much bigger than this. It's kind of similar to that. And then you take and you open up your bottle of liquid and you just pour it over the pads and then the pads absorb this liquid. When you use it, you want to make sure that you're not going to use it right before you go out into the sun. I haven't personally experienced what happens at that point, but it it's definitely, it's called nightly solution. So you want to use this at night, but this is really helpful in keeping my skin nice and smooth, helpful at not getting rid of the bumps necessarily, but just helping to make my skin smoother in general. Uh, I've come to terms with that the bumps aren't going to go anywhere. So i am determined to just find the things that work to keep my skin as smooth as possible and this this stuff really does help and it really works so that is the Arbonne nightly resurfacing solution great stuff I will put a link to this in the description as well because surprise I'm also an Arbonne consultant <laughs> technically so I've, I've been with Arbonne for about six or seven years now and I am a consultant because I like the products, so I get them at a 35% discount. Let's switch gears to Scentsy. I have the Winter's Eve brick here, and you can see it is all gone. I did not use this in my home. <laughs> the reason why I have it here today is mostly to show you the difference in size between a bar and a brick. Like, holy cow, like, look how much bigger this guy is compared to this. This is basically, I want to say, about five and some change bars in one. And I'll show you the back, too, so you can see how much bigger the cubes are. So with something like this, you may want to think about cutting the, the cube, these big cubes up into smaller cubes to put into your warmer so that it matches kind of this size. But anyway, so that is the difference there between the two. So I just wanted to share with this brick before I tossed it because this is, you know, my empty. I personally don't like this scent. I did not use the scent in my house. The only time that this scent got used in my house is when I was melting it down to make samples. <laughs> this came in a bundle, just so you know, I got it when all the consultants could order the holiday brick bundle and yeah and this one had to come with it so i felt like i need to get rid of it <laughs> again not a personal not a personal favorite this to me smells like a man getting out of a shower it's got bergamot and something else in it that kind of gives it that that scent it's very it's apparently it's a woodsy scent Oh, it's just, it smells like strong men's cologne or deodorant. <laughs> anyway, so if you're looking for a masculine scent, then Winter's Eve is probably for you. Next up, I've got a pod that I've been using at my office at work. I don't use the pods at home, but that's mainly because I haven't set up my, uh, my Scentsy Pod fan diffuser at home yet. I do have one. I just haven't set it up yet. I am using a pot of Very Merry Cranberry at work. So it's very fruity. The last scent that I had was very sweet. So I wanted to kind of offset that a little bit, give it something different so that it would not make me nose blind to the scents. Mm, this smells so, this smells
smells exactly like what you would think very merry cranberry would smell like. It's just a burst of fresh cranberries with a hint of spice, maybe something like cinnamon or clove. It's very fruity. It's not a spicy scent, not at all. If there's a hint of anything, it's super mild and it totally blends right into the, the cranberries themselves. So that is very merry cranberry. Let's get into these wax bars. So the first one that I started using at the beginning of this month is vanilla bean buttercream. I know this is a returning scent. Yep. Mm, my gosh. If you ever want anything to smell like vanilla frosting, that's just what this is. It smells exactly like the title, vanilla bean buttercream. You can still purchase this scent. The scent is still available uh, on the Scentsy website. And I will go ahead and link that into the description too. So you can check this and other wax bar scents out for yourself. Nothing but good things to say. So this time that I used it, I used these three cubes. I put two in one warmer and one in the other. And I've got two warmers out in my living room. And yeah, it just made the whole apartment, well, the living space of our apartment, smell really sweet and delicious. And this probably lasted us about a day and a half, I would say. And then we started either to get nose blind to it or it started to fade out. I noticed that sweet scent tend to do that. But overall, we love this scent. Glad that we have some more left. And I also have a few more bars left of this too. But this, this bar is getting pretty old, so that's why I'm trying to get through it. The next scent I used, I tried to do something different from something sweet and I picked out again a cozy fireside so if you saw my first video you saw I used both of these scents in December as well oh yeah wow it's just this is going strong <laughs> all things considered this bar is very very old my mom gave it to me and I'm pretty sure it was old when she gave it to me and she Gave it to me maybe a couple years ago, like two, three. So this bar is just, it's just rolling, man. If you want a scent that lasts forever, get a cozy fireside. I don't think this is available anymore to purchase, but it's a very strong spicy scent. Very Christmassy. It's not too smoky. It's perfect for the holidays. Great option if you like the spicy scents. And again, it's very strong. It lasts us probably a good two, three, sometimes four days. Now, it'll last us, when I say four days, it'll last us a weekend when we're home for two days. And then it will last us a couple of evenings in the week. So about two hours in an evening is when we is what we get when we're home. But that is Cozy Fireside. All right, the next one I used, again, I'm swapping back to my sweets. I went with apple butter frosting. This was our only bar and we have used it all up. I hope this comes back because my husband and I love this scent. So apple butter frosting smells just exactly like what it sounds like. It smells like apple butter and it smells like icing. You can see it was an old, it was getting to be pretty old. So the container is looking pretty yellow, pretty gross but it still smells good. Mmm, yep, sweet. There's like a hint of cinnamon in there too. Very, very good. Scentsy, please bring this back. <laughs> I will put it in my Scentsy Club. Apple butter frosting. All right, so here's one that I did not use in December. And actually I picked this one because there was a week where we couldn't warm anything. We just weren't home and in any case, I figured that was enough time to go ahead and try another something sweet. My husband was out of town on the weekend, and this is not one of his favorite scents. He doesn't like maple scents, so that's interesting to me. But I chose Mocha Doodle, and I left my little tag on here. You can see I bought this March of 2021, and it's still going pretty good. There you go. So I know this looks a little funny. I actually ended up putting the wax back into the, the bar because I forgot that I was going to pair this with something else. <laughs> it's coming up next. <laughs> so, yeah, so just to kind of show you. So this is a, a cube. This was one cube at one time, but I started melting it. And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm going to pair this with something else. So I just kind of poured it back in here. It still smells sweet and strong. 
It does smell a little bit like syrup, but mocha doodle. It does have an element of mocha to this. Like I said, mostly it does smell like maple syrup, but it's really good. It's a nice sweet. If you like sweet scents, then you might like this one. So this usually comes out in the summer spring catalog. So that's coming up very soon here. So maybe we'll see this again. So the scent that I wanted to pair that <laughs> with was Sticky Cinnamon Bun. And as you know, <laughs> or maybe you don't, I am not a huge fan of Sticky Cinnamon Bun. I am trying to find different scents to pair it with to make it not as strong and to maybe create a whole brand new blend with it because I have this bar and I also have one other bar now because it came back in the bring back my bar. So I got that collection and now I'm stuck with another bar of it. So if you like this scent, just let me know. <laughs> but okay, so Sticky Cinnamon Bun, you can see I've used four cubes now. It's just, it smells like really strong cinnamon. And that's pretty much the majority of this. There is a hint of sweet. There's a hint of that icing, but it is mostly red hot cinnamon. And so that's why I like to try to tone it down. It's a bit too much for me personally, but so that is sticky cinnamon bun. And then the last one that I have for us today is pumpkin tiramisu. Now this one is not available. I don't even know when this one came out. My mom gave this one to me. You can tell because... Oh, you can't really see. There it is. You can see the label that's in there. So that's how I know my mom gave this to me. But you can see we've used four cubes. So we've gone through half of our bar. When I first start using this one, day one tends to be more like it's very bready. It smells like bread, like sweet bread is baking in the oven. That's what it smells like. And then day two... It really sweetens up and it smells more sweet, creamy. And I don't know what is going on there. Day one, it always smells like sweet bread. And day two, it just smells like sweet candy. And I like, I prefer day two, even though it's a lighter scent. I do prefer when it sweetens up a bit, but pumpkin tiramisu is really, really good. I do like this. Again, I don't know when it came out. If you do know, go ahead and write that down in the comments for me. Help me out. But yeah. I do really like this. I'm trying to get through some pumpkin scents, especially some of the older ones that I have because I don't prefer to use pumpkin scents in spring or summer. I'm a very seasonal kind of uh, scent user. So I'm trying to get through some spicy scents and I'm trying to get through some of my pumpkin scents and some of my older scents before spring hits <laughs> because I know I'm gonna change a lot of uh, the palette that I'm using here for this stuff. So that is pumpkin tiramisu. And that is all the wax bars that I've been melting in my home. The last two things that I have are Bath and Body Works products. The first one is a hand soap that I kept in our kitchen and I will say this hand soap was perfect. I started using it in the fall. It's about a year ago. I tried to start using this around, I think it was around spring or summer. And as soon as I started using it, I realized this needed to wait until fall. It just, to me, it was a fall scent. So I waited almost a full year. <laughs> but once that time of year came around again, I pulled this straight up and started using it and it was perfect. So that is Black Cherry Merlot. I don't know if you can read that there. Black Cherry Merlot. So this is my empty bottle. I used it. It took me about four months to get through this. So we keep three different hand soaps at once two in each bathroom and one in the kitchen the one that I usually put in the kitchen is more of the so what is this like gel so we don't use necessarily the liquid one that turns to foam we'll use like one that's actually like hand soap gel in the kitchen I don't know why it's just personal preference I save the hand soap that turns into foam for our master bathroom which I don't have any of those today, but we're almost done getting through another one. So probably see it in the next video. Black Cherry Merlot. Oh, I can't smell this anymore. I did wash the bottle out, but it is just deep cherry. It's like a dark cherry. Yeah, you, I can't smell this, but 
it's really good. Like I said, it's a fall cherry scent. It's not a spring happy go lucky scent. It is a deep, dark, fruity scent. Very good for fall and winter. It worked for winter too. And the last thing that I have, now this is an oldie. It says on the bottle what the collection was from Bath and Body Works, but this is an old, old, old scent. I was probably in high school when I bought this. I'm being dead serious. But this is from the Temptations set from Bath and Body Works. It is Pumpkin Pie Paradise. So this was a body lotion and this stuff was banging. I waited way too long to use it, <laughs> obviously, but uh, it was delicious and I wish that I would have used it sooner because the scent faded very quickly. You had to really shake it up to get the smell to come through even a little bit and it didn't really last. The scent didn't really last when I wore it, but it was a good scent and I kept it for forever because I didn't want to be without this scent. This is pretty orangey lotion. I really, really enjoyed using this and I, I really love the smell. It just was like sweet, creamy pumpkin. It literally smelled like pumpkin pie. So I liked this. Bath and Body Works, if you're listening, bring me some more of this. <laughs> I will buy more. But also if you could keep the price at eight bucks, that would be, <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Shoot, this is a full priced lotion for $8. That's how old this is. <laughs> full price lotion for eight bucks. I don't even want to know. I know the prices have gone up recently. It's probably like $20 for one of these now. Anyway, that is all I have to share with you today today. I use quite a few different products and as I keep going through more and emptying up some bottles and things, I will set them off to the side so that I can share with you what I'm using and what I like and what I don't like so that you can make decisions for yourself. If you want to go that route, if you want to purchase these things, you can. If you agree with me and you don't like some of these things, like <laughs> then uh, now you know. <laughs> But in any case, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are amazing. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.